Picture yourself back the 1800s and Mary Anning has become well known in her town of Lyme Regis as the seashell lady. But she knows better than most people that what she's finding here are not seashells, but relics, ancient animals from millions of years ago. Mary Anning was a self-educated expert paleontologist who is often described as the best fossil hunter who has ever lived. She was born in Lyme Regis in 1799 and spent her life recovering the fossilised remains of Jurassic sea creatures from the local cliffs and beaches. Mary is credited with discovering many amazing specimens, including the first ichthyosaur to be described by science and the first two near complete plesiosaur skeletons as well. Some of her finds are still on display at the Natural History Museum in London. Now, Mary's life would have been an incredible tale of hard work and perseverance, trying to get her incredible discoveries acknowledged. And for the most part, her incredible discoveries were acknowledged, but not to her credit. Thankfully today, Mary's achievements are widely recognised, but her contributions to paleontology goes beyond the fossils she found. Mary's become an important role model and her story continues to inspire people around the world. I invited some friends to explain what Mary means to them. I'm Emma from MGEMS and I'm a geologist currently studying for my masters in geoconservation. Hi, my name is Evelyn Vollmer and I work at the Idaho Virtualization Laboratory at the Idaho Museum of Natural History. Hi, I'm Ashley Hall, Outreach Program Manager at Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman, Montana, and Mary Anning is my favorite paleontologist. Mary Anning, she was a pioneering paleontologist of her time. Now her time was the 18th and 19th century, but she's still incredibly relevant today due to her amazing scientific discoveries. Mary got her start by going fossil collecting with her father, who was actually selling these fossils to help support his family. Sadly, he tragically passed away and left their family with no breadwinner. So Mary decided that she would take it upon herself to help provide for the family. Mary Anning is, and always will be, one of the world's greatest paleontologists. In the 18th to 19th century, I'm sure you guys can appreciate, that wasn't the best time for a woman, let alone a woman who wanted to be educated, run her own business, and make key scientific discoveries in a subject that was extremely male-dominated for a long time. So she went fossil collecting and found some very amazing things. It was quite a passion for her. While exploring the Jurassic Coast, Mary Anning found the first plesiosaur. As a woman in paleontology, Mary Anning has always been an incredibly important figure in my life, and she's always kind of been the little figure or like the little bird in my ear that just says, keep going. She was an incredible lady, and you know, the idea that she collected these, prepped these, made the notes on them, it's just remarkable and for me as a young, you know, a young girl who was aspiring to be a geologist of some sort to find out about someone like Mary Anning who anything thrown her way, she overcame it, you know, any obstacle, any limitation, she just kept going. She paved the way for women in paleontology. She was one of the first paleontologists ever to actually be studying these things, writing them down and making observations about these incredible fossils poverty, not being accepted into the Geological Society of London just because she was a woman. Um, all of these things, she died of breast cancer. Um, you know, all of these struggles in life that she faced are things that we still deal with today. And it's just amazing to kind of see that, you know, where she was centuries ago and how it has still played a really important role in where we are today in the world of paleontology. And being a woman in paleontology was hard enough then and we're still facing repercussions of sexism and toxicity. Mary Anning reminds us of where we have come and the struggles we have faced in paleontology over the past 200 years. Um, I just, I love the fact that we as a society, as women in paleontology, have that figure to look up to. Today, Mary continues to inspire women of all ages in paleontology, including the next generation of scientists as well. Hi, I'm Jude. Mary Anning didn't go to school, so she learned to read and write herself. Mary found lots of amazing fossils, including ammonites, ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs, and pterodactylus. The butler boys took all the credit for Mary's work. This is because Mary Anning was a girl, and girls at that time girls were not allowed to be paleontologists. I like Mary Anning because because she was a girl, she still was a paleontologist. 
She didn't go to school. She still was a paleontologist. The boys took the credit for her work. She still was a paleontologist. I'm curious. I like to learn about fossils. I can't wait to be a paleontologist just like Mary and Ing was.